morning everybody and uh, welcome along on this uh, extremely wet and unpleasant Thursday morning as I'm taking uh, Stan the Scram for his annual service at QB Motorcycles and what an horrible I couldn't have picked a worse morning could I when I booked it in a couple of weeks ago of all the days of this week I could have picked Monday dry Tuesday dry Wednesday dry Thursday pouring it down Friday looks like it's going to be dry at the moment so uh, yeah what an horrible morning and uh, Right up, I'll give you a bit of a wipe. So we're just picking through the uh, school run traffic as well. That's so annual service for the Scram. That's just a probably 15, it should be 15 minute ride over to QB. Hopefully the service won't take too long. Let's get, uh, Dove. And then get back home, get back in the dry. I'm on leave this week, so. Yeah. Picked a bad day to get it done. Uh, it's supposed to be out now 1,960 miles. So it's approaching that 2,000 miles now on the scram. Ugh, it's awful, isn't it? Just approaching the 2,000 miles. And this is going to be my Wales adventure bike for this year. This is just vile. Let's say I got the right gear. It's not really cold. It's a bit chilly, but not cold. It's all reminiscent of the Argyle and Butte tour. <laughs> And I think it's a good thing sometimes that you're forced to go out in this weather because it, you know, it's not, it's not a problem with with riding a motorbike in this sort of weather. It's not very nice, but it's not a problem. And then there are going to be times when you're out touring and stuff that yeah, you know, you're going to get caught in it. There's nothing you can do about it. So then it becomes all about well, you just got to got to be able to deal with it, isn't you? So, you know, shying away from going out in it is not the thing to do, really. Just get on with it. Suck it up, as they say. And it reminds me of the days when I had no choice. And sometimes I hadn't dressed appropriately for it. We commute to work in the dry. And then discover at the end of your shift. So you put your guy weather gear on. Get to the end of your shift, only to discover that uh, that uh, it's chucking it down, and you're not dressed appropriately. Again, to one of the uh, challenges. of motorcycling in this weather. And at the time as well, I wasn't a glasses wearer, so I didn't have to contend with not being able to see a bleeding thing. Get the flooding. Absolutely no maintenance being done of the gullies, I don't think. the first proper try out of me ricker gear to be honest didn't need it on the Swiss tour because it didn't really have a rain uh, coming to force a little bit on the Sky and Highlands tour when we had a little bit of rain and uh, but today it's having a 
a proper testing. Yes, at the moment, can't see a thing out of my glasses. Yeah, I'm looking over the top of my glasses at the moment. <laughs> I just can't see through them. So, can't see through them, you've got to see over the top of them. narrow gap between the bottom of my visor and the top of my glasses I'm looking through. What fun! <laughs> Not. What we'll do on the way back maybe have a proper little chat. been chatting much on this leg of the ride in because uh, I'm having to concentrate on what I'm doing because this flipping weather. But on the way back maybe we can uh, it seems to have been seems to have d died down just a little bit. Seems to have timed it about right today. Ten to nine. I'm just coming down through Cradley now. Cradley Heath Railway Station. Or Cradley Heath. QB It's gonna bounce up onto the pavement here. Yeah. And here we are. Cheers, lads. Right, well that's the scram all serviced up, and we're good to go. Oh, I've moved that, I'm sure I've moved that. That's better. That's better. Dave, get rid of them bloody mirrors. A lot like Minnie Mouse's ears, as you can see, sticking out everywhere, completely useless. Get some bar mirrors instead, they look far better than stylish. And by the way, your bloody camera's cockeyed. Thought that had moved. Right. Hello again, everybody. 
And I've just picked up uh, standard scram from QB Motorcycles. He had his annual service, just under 2,000 miles. Um, so we're all good. What an horrible day. Absolutely crap. But at least it's not raining like it was earlier. Um, so he's had his, uh, he's had his, he's had his service, £164, uh, and they had to do a uh, exhaust valve adjustment. So that's been done. Uh, the horn wasn't working, so they've sorted that out. I'm just told me to keep an eye on it. So that shows how often I use the horn because I've discovered it's not working. So I suppose what I need to be doing is trying it out on a on a regular basis, probably every time I go for a ride, just blow the horn, see if it's working. So that's been sorted. Uh, and now I'm just heading home. Um, so it's ready to go for to spend the summer in Wales now, let's grab. Uh, just that good uh, Andy there, QB was saying that he's got a 16 tooth sprocket mod and it's made a, has been told it makes a great difference to the bike so that may be one for me to look at I think. Do the, uh, do that sprocket upgrade. So uh, yeah, so we're ready now now. Oh, what do I have in a minute? So I want to test the sound because I'm using the new microphone. I'm using the DJI microphone now and I've altered the volume levels in my uh, Rode uh, audio interface micro that sits in the back of my helmet that allows me to input the Cardo uh, uh, sound and the microphone two inputs and I'm just trying to get it balanced up now so I need to do a test so I need to call Paul and do a quick test. So I'll just pull over here. God blimey Dev, get rid of them bleeding mini mass mirrors on that bike. Absolutely atrocious. Disgrace. Put some nice bar end mirrors on, they'll look more stylish. And by the way, your camera's bloody cockeyed. So, here we go. What should I have a quick chat about? Uh, oh, today. So this will be last week's video. I've uh, put out a video of all the uh, mods I've made to the Hunter, and how much the uh, each mod cost, and uh, with links to all of the mods. So if you're interested in. Uh, modifying your hunter and how much it will cost you and where to get the parts from that's a video to have a look at and I'll leave a I'll leave a a uh, little link a card to, for that video uh, on the top of the screen up there um, would it be up there? no it'll be up there yeah <laughs> I don't visualise my computer screen or TV screen in front of me. So if I put a card on, it will be in that corner, up there. There you go. Things you have to think about, eh? Uh, no, so it's just a uh, summary of what I've put on. A little walk around. And, uh, and how much they are and where you can get them from if you want to go and buy them. Um, oh, here's Paul. Answer. Hello, I'm okay. Hello, mate. You all right? Yeah, all done, all done. Sorted, Un brilliant. Did you catch the weather or oh, not? Oh, I got soaked this morning. Soaked, mate. Horrible, horrible Jesus. weather. Yeah, and horrible. £164. They had to adjust the exhaust valve. Uh, that, okay. need, that needed adjusting. And the horn didn't work. It's fine. <laughs> so they've, oh, right. okay. so they've sorted the horn out. So it's just, I was like, well, I wouldn't know. I'd never use it, hardly. Because well, I, I noticed once, on, was it on yours, on the, on the Hunter, the cable was loose? Yeah. 
all connected in. Only by, okay, only by accident that uh, I would find yeah. out it wasn't working. So I'll just k yeah. keep keep an eye on if it, if it happens. If, if it stops working, we'll we'll change it under warranty. No. Okay, that's fine. So that's, uh, oh, fair enough. That's yeah, good. So that's cheap enough, isn't it? Yeah. Now Rob's taking his in on Saturday. He's putting his in. Yeah. They haven't got the new Himalayans in yet. They're uh, they're coming in about three weeks' time, I think. So there wasn't no demos to sit on. No. No. Well, was he when I, they had that open day they, to shift they, to another store. They then. only had them for the open day and they moved them on. Oh, bloody hell. I'll tell okay. you what, around the back of reception, I never knew. There's bikes around the back of there, you know. There's a... Uh, no, there is. There's, there's, that's, there's loads of old ones. They, they had one of them flipping old bullets, the 500 trial bike in with yeah. the red frame. There's a classic 500 around there as well. Yeah, yeah. They got they do hide them around the back. That's where they used to put the uh, Benellis around there. Yeah, yeah. Stuff like that. So they do. Oh, there's a few snuck about. They've got the uh, the shotgun in. They've got one of them. That's it. That come through as an email. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Because it's got the single seat with a rack or a double seat. That's it's it. A bit more. Yeah. Yeah. So. I should have asked you. Could have got a free magazine from there off upstairs. Oh, I was thinking. You know, I was magazines. looking at them. I thought, shall I get one? No. Oh, I always try and pick one up now. I'm going to keep popping it. Oh. It saves you buying a MCN because it gives you, it mostly gives you what the same as in there. It's quite an interesting I'm, bit to keep oh, you come across. I made the mistake of going oh. upstairs again. Yeah, uh, so I've got, I bought some more uh, thread lock. Uh, yes. I bought a uh, digital tyre pressure gauge, Oxford Digital. Oh. And I bought these little pointy, spiky things like hooks. The, I need, the other day I was trying to fish a wire through, I thought if only I'd got something with a hook on the end. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got one of them that you open, like I've got one of them things that, it's, that you pull it and it opens up into yeah. a sewer claw as well. So there's like four of them, there's a pokey oh, one, like, like, like a dentist toolkit. Yes, but uh, yes. for, for, us, okay. for us fettlers, most useful, most useful. Yes. Andy's got yeah, himself so a, got and Andy's got a scram, you know, you know Andy the salesman. He's got a yeah, scram yeah. and he's doing all sorts of mods to it and stuff. Uh, and he says he's been told put the 16 tooth front sprocket on. It, uh, it, 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 makes, it makes a whole world of difference. Give you more acceleration, that will. Yeah, so I think it's more acceleration but less. I don't know, I have to find out. But, uh, I think it does because I had it on the, uh, that bullet I had. I put the biggest one on that was just missing the casings. Yeah. It was all interesting in top end, but it gives you a better pull. Yeah. Oh, and uh, another one for us, Lane's Explorer, he's replaced his yep. gear linkage, just the bit of bent uh, rod that they put on the Hunter, to two ball joints, or two, uh, two, two like, I um, uh, forget what they call them, you know what I mean, uh, and, a put, and, a th and a threaded rod, so that you've got a proper yeah. linkage that you can adjust, and also it won't wear out your, uh, your, 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 uh, your shaft, your gear chain shaft, because that rod is just loose in the shaft with a, like a split pin on it. Have a look; oh, it's nice. it's not really good quality. So, uh, so he, where's he got that from? He's, uh, well, I think he's bought the parts and pretty much made it himself, to be honest. So, I, I may well do the same for us. Just buy four joints, uh, some yeah. bar. Which Ask him. You want to tell him? So, can you do me a video? What you've done? And send me sizes of what you've oh, he's done. It. He's, 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 he's done the video this morning. Uh, it's on. It's up on YouTube. So, uh, well, okay, so it's just refinement. I think you can kids cocks do anything, do they? No, you, you, stuff. you can buy the, the, the actual thing, I think, if you want to, someone that somebody's already done for you. But we'll just, uh, I'll make us one. I'll get my lathe out okay. if I have to, and uh, all I need is some uh, 8 mil diameter uh, stainless steel rod. And then so I can just uh, turn this, turn this, and then I'll just do yeah. it. So, uh, yeah, so that's our next so mod, mate. Video, that's fine. Lines, oh, okay, Lines so Explorers uh, g giving us a mod to do. Oh, <laughs> brilliant! That's another good one. So uh, I went into uh, uh, Smith's Toys Craig. in Mary Hill. Uh, Smith's uh, Toys, yes. Yeah, that Lego Technic. They do an MT10 Lego kit. Do they? Yeah, and they do it. I don't. They haven't got it in there, but I've seen it on the internet. You can have a Lego Titanic full Lego model of the Titanic if you've got 550 quid to spend on it. Nine, nine thousand pieces. Oh my God! See, that's good if you got the money because there was a footballer on the telly the other day. Funny enough, and he got a leg, a heart. He had a heart thing. Yeah, I saw and him. He's, he's, I thought you must have money, and he was doing like a Lego kit. And yeah, everything. the, the Titanic. I used to buy somebody. The one chap, Glenn the Roofer. He's, I, I, he did it, mate. 
begrudgingly because I said, Gizzy T, you'll never do it. He gave me a lovely, I, th- I don't know what it is, oh, it's an aeroplane or something, which yeah. is a proper balsa wood. Yeah. That I've got to do. Yeah. So, uh, so it's le- a kit of an old fashioned one he's found off somebody out of somebody's shed. So I've looked at that Lego Titanic, I need to get hold of 550 quid and buy it and do it. It's like them things on the telly, in it when they have after Christmas. Just yeah. Were first pay, first first issues are three pound a quid. Yeah. And after that, I'm fifteen pound. Yeah. I cost you a million quid to build a <laughs> uh, Dalek or yeah, something. Yeah. Yeah. I see. So uh, yeah. Ooh. So I was in Smith's Toys looking at Lego. How about that then? I need to get a life, <laughs> don't I? <That's laughs> Not really. Things that I like stuff like that. It's just how I got the time. Yeah. I've still got a jigsaw puzzle of London to do. Yeah. I brought one for London. Yeah, I love stuff like that. I still got an airplane to airfix a boy now and again. These little kits, I just think they're nice because you can just fettle with them and mess. Yeah, yeah. Create. I know. So, I'm nearly, I'm nearly yeah. home now, so I'm going to uh, get the uh, get this put away, probably get it out and dry it off tomorrow properly, Give it a, if, see if it needs a bit of a clean, then put it away again until we're ready to start having yeah. some fun again. You know, it's weird, you know, now you're talking to you, you're riding the bike, aren't you? Yeah. Sounds like you're walking. Does it? I can't, see, I can't hear a thing. Yeah. We don't, I can't tell that you're on the bike at I all. Know. It sounds like you're probably walking and you're a little bit out of breath. I know. It's brilliant, isn't it? That's all. There's so, no, nothing to tell me that you can't hear birds twitching like where I am. Yeah. Nothing. He's car dozer. Fantastic, bl- oh, isn't it? Blooming excellent. <coughs> so. I'm, um, I'm, I'm going to that chap Steve's tonight, the one who I'm doing the work for. Yeah. And um, I've, I've got two helmets to, for him to test. I've got, I've got two back protectors and I've took my car down on my beeline to show him what you can... Yeah. Evolved too for him. Yeah. Trying to help him out rather than making mistakes. As yeah, we yeah. yeah, definitely. No romance over something that you look and go, oh, I really want that. It's just what I want. It's great. And then when you get to try it on, you go, Oh my God, all that romance in. Yeah. And it don't fit. You just got to find find what floats you about. I says because what you think is don't. Yeah. Good you know, it. That's the, it's just yeah. Like a perfect pair of fitting shoes, buying bike gear. I know, I know. Well, I'm nice and dry in my Ricker stuff, so that's good. Uh, yeah, so yeah. I know. It's, uh, so it's a one-off. I'm still looking. I might, I've got to go out for Brum on Tuesday to see a job. Yeah. And then uh, I might pop into JNS because I still I know what I'm after and what I want. But yeah. I just can't afford it yet. It pa- to it's see. Uh, best investment you could make: buy the good gear from the start. Otherwise, you waste. Yeah. You, you realise that you what you buy is not so good. Look what happened no. in Scotland when we in the Argyll yeah. and Butte. Now South, didn't you? this no. this stuff this morning poured it down, dries about. Yeah, I know. I want the Lindstrad and the the Alverson stuff. Yeah, I don't know how that fits for me. So I need the Lindstrad trousers because they all connect into the Alversons, and I want the Alversons jacket. Yeah. Grey and black trousers, and then either a grey and black top or just an all black top nice. with Alversons. Nice. You look almost as uh, almost as trendy as Rob. Oh, stylish. I don't look too hipster. Well, I'm a bit more adventurous, he's a bit more hipstery. Hipster. So, That's the word I'm looking for. Hipster. More hipstery. He'll be listening he wants to... wicker baskets now, not uh, top boxes. That's li- what he wants. He'll he'll be... Just tell me he don't want a top box. He'll be listening to this now. Because, uh, you know, he, the, yeah. he's the hipster of the, of the group. We're he's like. The, uh, he's the stylish you know, one, you we're say. We're pretenders to the throne. He's the actual proper yeah. hipster. You know. We've get up on looking the park. We've get up on looking the park because he just don't work for us. No. Uh, big bellies no, and stuff like that. And and gangly legs and stuff though <laughs> you know no good you've got to got to have the physique and yeah. rob's got the I'm physique gonna, uh, isn't he i'm gonna i'm gonna say to that steve i'm gonna say to him go look these guys i'm 30 35 years older than you <laughs> look after yourself yeah <laughs> look after yourself <laughs> so this will be you one day yeah yeah you will get on your sports bike then no right <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna cut, okay. cut a short mate i've got a bit more yep, bit more care. audio Ta-ta. to test the sample i'll catch you later Brilliant. Right, so I'm not far off home. Not much of a video. This one just a uh, uh, little ride to the uh, get the scram serviced and back. And uh, normal service and proper ride out videos will hopefully be coming your way soon. Uh, if not, we'll see you in a puddle somewhere. Uh, in a flood up to our up to our waist in water, um, wading our way out of uh, overflowing rivers and all that good stuff. But hopefully, we might get a bit of a, a turn for the better on the weather front. So, uh, thank you for watching as always. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, get over to Lanes Explorers channel and have a look at his uh, his uh, how to modify the the gear linkage. 
on your on your Hunter 350 Royal Enfield. Um, yeah, let's all do our mods. Let's tinker and fettle with our bikes. Let's have a year of fettling. Um, the year of the fettle. Okay, um, so I'll wrap up at this. Uh, hopefully, see you all soon on another video. Take care of yourself. It's a lot of it. I say those mirrors on that bike look atrocious. They look like Minnie Mouse's ears. You want to change them for some bar end mirrors instead. They look far better. By the way, your camera is slightly out of kilter.